The original Dumbo, the animated Dumbo, I watched five or six times during the making of the film. Um, Dumbo's in the movie. It's about it's about an elephant. It's about a family. It's about a circus family. It's about the world. So it 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 stacks up. But in fact, the point of view of Dumbo and the the sort of point of view of the camera and the point of view of Tim through that process. I mean, Tim came from animation. I think he has uh, that eye. So I applied the things that I felt the eye and the sort of nod to the original um, mattered in a way that, that for me and for Tim both and for camera. So I took that into stride. And when I referenced back, you know, the shadows and the tints, the, the, um, the clown fire gag, you know, there's things that harken back to the, to, the, to the animated Dumbo that I think play really well in a, you know, in, in this film. I had the circus family, which is the intimate, you know, Holt's character played by Colin Farrell, the children, Danny DeVito, Michael Keaton, Eva Green. I had those characters who were my big players. And then around them, I had the circus family, which were different small acts that were part of the Medici circus. The Medici circus evolves as the story goes on. And that, um, and that circus and those people carry through. They start very, very minimally, very bare bones. Dumbo comes into their lives, and their, you know, their audience becomes bigger. Vandiver comes into their lives and gives it a twist. And you know, they go off to New York to the urban circus, to the world of a almost like a the Palladium was, or um, an installation. And that's like a whole other show. It's a circus with, you know, instead of six people, it's a circus with 50 people in one dance, number 200. You know, I think the, the biggest day of that circus, I probably dressed over 200 people as circus acts and 500 people in the crowd. The overall detail kind of thing and, and character things that come through in the costumes are sort of not so much things in the making of the costume, but it's in the finishing of the costume and the aging and the kind of the wear and tear of the costume more than in the, in the sort of design of the costume per se. It's designed to be old, it's not designed to be new, except in the case of, of uh, Van de Veer, who's, you know, who's a showman extraordinaire. He's, He's dealing with bankers, but he's not a banker. He's still like an artist, but he's a, a kind of a bit of a con man. And he has a certain dash to his costumes, and they're very, you know, they're very bespoke. They're very kind of, of, of sort of showy in that way. I've done a lot of movies with Tim Burton. We've known each other through time and through family and through, through our work for very, feels like a long time, I think. 20 years at least, if not more. And the, the thing that every time I come to the table with Tim, he, I forget how individual he is. He's, he's definitely, I mean, it's the Tim I know, but it's always the Tim that surprises me that, that I like and that I embrace. And some of the things, the witty things he's come up with for in this circus, which I really don't want to reveal because people should see that in the movie it doesn't have to be spoken about has something that always happens with Tim but in this movie I think it's happened in a really big and positive way it's happened in a way um, that the you know the material lends itself to the cast Michael Keaton Danny you know people he's played with before Eva you know all his people that he's played with He's, he's given something that I think is going to be really exciting about the film. And in doing that, he's given me something. And he's, he's um, actually been more vocal with me about how he feels about the costumes in a really positive way, which is, which is great after such a long kind of run with him on different types of shows.